Okay. Alright. Uh, we're gonna um, start over. I don't think it was recording. Yeah. Alright. Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to want to give all praise and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And double honest to the apostles of Great Millstone and honest to you brothers doing this work in truth and sincerity. Uh, today is going to be a recap of sort of basically, you know, a recap capping off the lesson that we, we did previously about um, the, basically having the right name basically means you have means you have the Holy Spirit. But basically today's lesson was going to be edification on the spirit of truth. So basically I'm going to start off with uh, John 7 and 38 as, as my first precept. This is uh, John chapter 7 verse 30, 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahweh Shai stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. And basically, he was talking about knowledge wasn't an understanding, not basically not, you know, a glass of water or something like that. Uh, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow the ri rivers of living water. So basically, if you believe on the testimony of Yahweh Shai, according to the scriptures, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water, because you believe on the testimony of Yahweh Shai at his word not according to a man's opinion, not according to what you may have heard, but the true and sound doctrine that's revealed to you by the spirit of truth. This is John chapter 17, verse 17. Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. Right, and that word sanctify means to cleanse and to purify. That's how we are purified through, through his word. Which is, which is the spirit of truth. And you can only receive that the spirit of truth through Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai was basically the point, one appointed for the nation of Israel for our, our redemption. Without him, there is no salvation. So uh, this is uh, Ephesians 1 and 11. And whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in the anointing. So basically, to the hopeful elect, basically they're the first fruits who put their trust and faith in Yahweh Shai for his resurrection, and hope, hopefully, you know, we'll be the ones to also receive that resurrection upon his return and whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth see that after ye heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation and whom also after that ye believed ye were sealed with that holy spirit of promise so basically through Yahweh Shai and receiving this, this truth basically you know the hopeful elect is going to be sealed Basically, Yahweh Shai is that uh, truth. That's why I come up with this. This is uh, John chapter 14, verse 6. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye, ye know him and have seen him. And that's plain, and that that's cut against all you uh you messianic uh Israelites. You, or non messianic. Or non yeah, Slakia. Like you non messianic Israelites. You Old Testament Israelites. If you don't ha have Yahweh Shai, you don't have the truth. Yahweh is not working with you. And on top of that, if you hate Yahweh Shai, you hate the Father. Yep. And plus the um the Old Testament. You know, basically testified of Yahweh Shai. Mm hmm. Well, shoot, uh, bring up this precepts too. Um, uh, I'm gonna start off with uh, Hebrews. I'm gonna do Hebrews, then I'm gonna go to the uh, to where it came from. Let's see, Hebrews 10 and 7. This is 
Hebrews chapter 10 verse 7. Then said, then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O Yahweh. And that's Yahweh Shai, you know. Yahweh Shai come in the volume of the book. The whole book is written of Yahweh Shai. Uh, pursuant to um, John 1 and 1. Get that real quick. Word, because Yahweh Shai was a word made flesh. John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with the, the Most High, and the Word was the power, which is Yahweh Shai. And then, reiterating on um, Hebrews 10 and 7, let's see. This kind of thing is going into without without Yahweh Shai, you can't receive the foundation of the Spirit, which is truth. Right. So therefore, if you don't have that foundation, pretty much the Spirit of Truth is not in you, and basically you're not being led of, of the Spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, as far as calling on the names of other gods like a high Yahshua mm -hmm. or Christ. I mean, basically, these false teachers don't have the spirit of truth. This is, uh, right before you get down, I'm just going to bring up this quick precept. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 21. If so be that ye have heard him, have heard him, and have been taught by him as the truth is in your house shop. Just, yeah. That's plain. The truth is in Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is Psalm 40 and 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O, o my power. Yea, thy laws is written in my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Yahweh. Thou knowest. I have not hid my thy I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. And that that's all your house shy. Basically, the, I mean, this whole when when we speak of truth, you can't really say anything other than Yahweh Shai, because that that was his whole reason for being here, you know, to bring the truth back to Israel, and that's not the truth for everybody, because everybody can't have the truth. As a matter of fact, that's one thing that makes this thing so precious is that everybody. Can't wasn't given the truth, you know. Okay. And here's a quick precept. But I'm gonna um, basically pull up uh, the, uh, the Greek. This is a uh, Salaki. Um, this is a uh, Second Corinthians 13 and 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Pretty much, you know. That's why, you know. Basically, it's kind of like a math equation, you know. Two plus two is always going to be four because, basically, that that's just what it is, you know. Right. It can't be anything else. Right. And the truth is always going to be, you know. The truth is always going to stand. It's like the whole world can say two plus two is five, but anytime uh, you come to a man that that has knowledge, two plus two is always going to be four. Don't matter what the world thinks, it just matters what the truth is, you know. Alright, can you grab that, that camera because I just wanted to um, you know, get a screenshot. Alright, so this is uh, the Greek for the word truth in 2 uh, uh, Corinthians. 
the 13th chapter and the um, 8th verse. It's um, Aletheia, and it says, uh, objectively, what is true in any manner under consideration, uh, truly, in truth, according to truth, of a truth, in reality, in fact, in certainty, what is true in things appertaining to the Most High and to the duties of man, moral and religious, and the greatest latitude, the true notions of the Most High, which are open to human reason, Without his supernatural and uh, without his supernatural intervention, the truth is as taught in the Christian religion, respecting to the Most High. The truth as a personal <laughs> excellence, you know. Basically, you know, you to draw that point, but really, I want, I'm gonna go to the to the um, Hebrew definition for a lot, and then, you know, it's, it's gonna give uh, even more solid you know, frame of reference. This is uh, Daniel chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil has come upon us, yet may we not our prayer before the Lord our power, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Now, the Hebrew word for truth is amath. And um, basically, so I the camera one more time. Alright. Focus it. As you can see it says uh, firmness, faithfulness, truth, sureness, reliability, stability, continuance, faithfulness, reliableness, truth. As spoken of testimony and judgment, of divine instruction, truth as a body of ethical or religious knowledge, true doctrine. So, basically, that's, truth is always going to stand. saying truth uh when he was reading it you notice it said faithfulness and what is it uh faith is a gift from the most high and not everybody has faith uh for example two-thirds of you niggas don't have faith you don't believe you know you don't believe in the doctrine of the holy scriptures and that also goes to to you um you so-called, you are you Israelites that that don't have a hundred percent truth. And I remember, you know, when the apostles first came out and said that. That's when a lot of you, uh, you niggas, you Israelites, turned back into niggas. Talking about, uh, don't nobody got a hundred percent truth. You no, know? yeah, niggas became offended at that. Exactly, that you niggas had itchy ears. Talking about, I can get a little truth here and a little truth there, and put it all together, it's gonna be the whole truth. Like you got the hundred percent truth, you know. And so, like, if I if I may say this, that faithfulness also going back to the faithfulness of the Most High and His Son, mm -hmm. that everything in His Word is coming to pass and, and being fulfilled even as we speak. Mm -hmm. This is uh, John fifteen and twenty six. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of Truth which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. In other words, the spirit of truth would descend onto you. I mean, the comforter is that spirit of truth. And the spirit of truth will let you know Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai's name. They'll let you know Yahweh Shai is the truth. They'll let you know, basically, the truth. Hey, they'll let you know that this Bible, this Bible is the truth. And that's the comforter, the words of this Bible, you know. This next precept. Uh -huh. This is uh, 
John chapter 3, verse 20, verse 21. Uh -huh. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in the most high. So basically, if you're following after this truth, and uh, basically the spirit of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is working through you, Basically, it's going to be manifest, manifest your work, works is going to be manifested that they are part of the most size works. Mm -hmm. And uh, just bring uh, another precept because this is another foundational precept about, you know, the spirit of truth. This is uh, John 8 and 32. It's lucky. John 8 and 31. Then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. What is it making you free? Of, of all the lies and, and the bullshit of the world. And then he said continue. Uh, one of the words for the definition of truth is continuance. Also, it makes, it makes you free from the bondage of, of iniquity mm -hmm. as well. Because that's, that's what purifies you. That's what's going to basically sanctify and purify you. And this is John 16 and 13. Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whosoever shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will slack it. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. So, you know, that's that spirit of truth. It'll lead you into all truths. As a matter of fact, when you um when you first come into the truth, that's why once you start understanding what's really going on, it uh guides you into other things like uh like politics, so to speak, and you know, uh and the history and, and things like that. It guides you into all truth. And that's just from knowing the truth of the uh, of of, the, of this doctrine. Let's see. You got anything right now? Well, I got First John. So uh, this is First John four and one. Beloved. Believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of the Most High, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. And we know that perfectly well with the IUIC, which are the queer Christian Israelites. Then you got the ISUBK, which uh, don't teach about the mark of the beast. You got GOCC uh, talking about Edomites can make it, you know. All the, the all those are Israelites, but they're false prophets because they're not teaching the whole truth. So the scriptures say, "Believe not every spirit, but try the spirit to see if they are are of the Most High." Hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High. Every spirit that confesses Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is of the Most High. Every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is not of the Most High. And this is the spirit of error, and this is the spirit of Antichrist, uh, whereof ye heard it should come, and even now already is in the world. Ye are of the most high little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than, than he that is in the world. They are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of the Most High. He, knoweth, he that knoweth the Most High heareth us. He that is not of the Most High heareth us. Not, uh, hear not us. Hereby know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Basically that Yahweh Shai came in the flesh. Uh, that's why you get a lot of flack when you say that Yahweh Shai is a so-called Negro. You know. He was in the flesh, he had a color, he had a nationality, he was somebody, you know. And a lot of people uh, reject what so-called race that Yahweh Shai was. 
because you got this uh, Edomitish image of Yahweh Shia or of Jesus Christ up. That's why we call the IUIC Christian Israelites because they worship Jesus Christ. They don't worship Yahweh Shia. You know, and that's that's that spirit of error. You know. All right, because they deny the name of Yahweh Shia. Mm -hmm. This is a. Uh... John 1 and 17. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yahweh Shai. And, you know, me and the brother was going into this earlier that pretty much if righteousness was complete, completely just sought by the law, it, as far as Yahweh Shai not even appearing on the scene, it would pretty much, the whole nation would have had to have been destroyed. Mm -hmm. You know, because we we're all under sin. So. Pretty much, mm -hmm. it was through Yahweh Shai that the elect, first and foremost, the, the hopeful elect will receive that grace and that mercy through receiving the knowledge of the truth. And then the whole the whole nation, once the kingdom of heaven is established, is going to receive the truth. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, I guess I'm about ready to close with my last precept, but if you got a few more, you know, go ahead. Yeah, I got a few more. Backing off uh, what you just said, I want to bring up this uh, scripture. This is uh, Romans 3 and 20. Let me see. Yeah, you can grab it. 
well, start a couple up, but yeah, well, I think started 15, if I'm not mistaken. Six and fifteen or six and fourteen, or actually, yeah, oh yeah, um, like yeah, probably, six and um, eleven. To start at eleven, yeah. Um, this is uh, Ephesians six and eleven. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Mm -hmm. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Truth, which is this whole lesson. With your loins girt about with truth, and it's gonna go into explaining what truth is. Good. And having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of the Most High. Which we already read in John 17 and 17, which is the truth. You know, thy word is truth. Just read the next precept because basically, you know, you know, basically, you know, this next precept kind of goes along with, you know, what brothers need to be doing often, constantly, mm -hmm. praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Mm -hmm. I mean, let your, I mean, you, you should be making constant prayers and petitions to the Lord. Right. That's, that, I mean, that's how, you know, you, you, you make your prayer and petitions to where, you know, he'll lead you and guide you into more understanding, more more faith, more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in this truth, rather than just having a mindset of just focusing on doing things your way or leaning on to your own understanding. Prayer is, a, is, is something that you want to consistently do. Just, just letting brothers know, hey, this is the truth. Stay in it is 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 uh, all is as best as you can, you know. Um, I want to bring out one last thing, which is uh, Revelations 22 and 11. <laughs> Lovely scripture. That's one of the anytime scriptures, especially when you are uh, about ready to close any lesson. <laughs> yeah, all right. This is Revelations 22 and 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And I actually went into uh, into depth with the word holy because I wanted to because I was uh, looking up the word sanctify as well. The first holy uh, uh, represents uh, saint, and the second holy represents uh, sanctified. Basically, uh, he that is a saint, this is how it should read, he that is a saint, let him be uh, sanctified still. You know, basically he that is an Israelite, because uh, pursuant to Psalm, the saints are the children of Israel. You know, and I just wanted to bring that, that simple point out, you know. It up. All right, this is uh, my last precept. This is uh, John chapter 8, verse 37. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Yahweh Shah answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this, to this end I was I born. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Right. And that is plain and to the point. If you don't hear Yahweh Shai's voice, you're not of the truth. And that's why we always give our double honors 
which the scriptures uh, agree with. The scriptures say give your double honors to the uh, to the elders that rule well, which is the apostles of Great Millstone are the elders that rule well. That's why we give our double honors to them. Got anything else? That was it. I mean, that, that just summed it up. Man. All right, and till next Actually, time. Actually, let, let me just read that last sentence one more time. Uh huh. Actually, yeah, that whole precept one more time. Why not? John 8 and 37. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king? Then Yahweh shall answer, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Right, everyone that's in the truth heareth Yahweh Shai's voice. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Till next time. Shalom.